I gotta get something off my chest. I'm listening to all these testimonies and everything throughout the New Jersey flavor ban and um, looking at the long illness thing with all the senators yesterday. And I gotta tell you guys, this flavor ban crap, PMTAs are not an out. PMTA is not an out for any company. You guys saying or using the argument that, oh, well, this flavor ban wouldn't matter to the people that actually went through the FDA PMTAs. No, PMTAs cannot be afforded by anybody. Vaping is a consumer created industry to assess the health crisis of smoking, okay? We don't wanna smoke. We found and developed the technology and most I would say 99% of the industries out or of the companies out there that are vaping related are mom and pop started. This is not a big tobacco, big industry situation. In fact, Juul is probably the only company that could afford to go through the PMTAs and they're owned by freaking Altria. So what you need to know is PMTAs is not an out for anybody. PMTAs is a way to ban something that hasn't been, that, that, it's like a second, a plan B for if in case flavor bans and things don't work. That's what it is. Flavor bans and things don't work and the PMTAs will. The fact that they're using nicotine, nicotine addiction. Yeah, nicotine addiction, exactly. Just like caffeine addiction, just like sugar addiction, just like addiction of any of these other damn stimulants that are out there. Nicotine is not the problem. Combustible cigarettes is the problem. So let me take let me take your soda pop away from you. Let me take your coffee away from you. Yeah, I, gu I guarantee you all of y'all would go up in arms and want to fight me if I tried to take your coffee away from you. Walk into a room full of smokers and ask them to raise their hands, or ex-smokers, who cares, and ask them to raise their hands for anybody who has, um, anybody who, who started smoking before the age of 18. The results will blow your freaking minds. It'll blow your minds. Taking away flavors doesn't solve your teen epidemic teens are gonna do what they're gonna do that's how it is they're gonna get them from c stores they're gonna get them online they're gonna get them from their friends it's banning it anywhere is not gonna fix your problem those people that started smoking before 18 years of age didn't have flavors and we still did it hello didn't have flavors and we still did it it tasted disgusting but we still did it you know why because there's a head buzz involved you know why because it was something that we looked cool to our friends or or we wanted to feel like badass. That's why kids are gonna do what they're gonna do. The way that you counteract that is with education. You wanna change the, the way it looks, make it not cool. Like that's, make it not cool. Make them understand what the consequences are of their actions. Just like understanding the consequences of me drinking coffee is gonna tear up my insides. So I don't drink coffee. T I mean, come on, it's education not banning. You ban flavors, you ban these products that were created by consumers, you destroy lives, you destroy jobs, you destroy you destroy freedom. So to reiterate, PMTAs is not an answer. PMTAs are not affordable. Uh, when they become affordable, then vaping companies would be glad, be glad to abide. However, it's not something that it's not something that happens. It's not going to happen until it becomes a something that that companies can actually do. This whole thing, New Jersey, Massachusetts, all of it, it's a witch hunt. You need to get your heads out of your asses and handle things the way they should be handled with education, treatment, and understanding because banning isn't going to do anything but make people's lives more miserable by creating a black market, by putting more people in jail, by making more fines that aren't going to be paid, hold people responsible that should be responsible, understand that bans is not the way to go, and make things so that the actual people that are involved in the industry can afford them and abide like they want to. Oh yeah, one more thought I had. This goes out to PAVE. PAVE, you need to parent your own kids. I understand you have a concern for this and you you think that vapors are out to get your kids. Vapors don't care about your kids. Vapors do not want your children. This goes out to everybody. Vapors and vape companies are in favor of reasonable regulation. That's all we want is reasonable regulation. No one in the industry will tell you 
we want it completely unregulated. Nobody will tell you that. Reasonable regulation is the key. Reasonable, not bans, okay? My name's Stan, I vape, I vote, and you guys need to take care of your own kids, not the government.